Hello once again you butts and fans. I'm just gonna get right into it because it's been a while since I've done an update and a lot has happened behind the scenes. As you can see we have a new museum mode and that's what I'm gonna jump into. So the museum mode is going to be a virtual lobby of sorts that will focus a lot of our in-game objects. It's literally going to be a virtual museum that will allow you to not only view 3D objects we have in the game and learn about them with virtual kiosks, narrated audio uh, tours, and so on, but it'll be a place to meet up and chat with others around the world about our favorite subject, U-Boats. So we'll have, of course, uh, our professionals that have a lot of expertise and they'll be walking around and you know helping you learn about the U-Boats and sharing their insights. We will have a uh, full proper displays so eventually we will have a tour where you could go down go into the boat learn all about the different compartments and really this is has been just put together to kind of give you an idea it is fully multiplayer right now it does aggregate all the players in the game from around the world so if you jump into the lobby you may meet uh, anybody from around the world it's not localized yet so again it's global and so far we've just put a few items just to kind of give you an idea of the type of quality we're going for. You can see we have some really good reflections, ambient occlusions, and this is kind of starting to shape up and show off the type of quality we're going for in this environment. Our goal is to make this free to everybody. You don't even have to get the game to actually enjoy the museum eventually. While America's effort has been spectacular, we too have been going all out to replace sunk ships. Here, where shipyards have grown up along the rivers near coal mines... The next item I want to talk about is uh, the in-game text chat. So you could just, once you're in a multiplayer session, you can just chat. And you can set your avatar and your options under gameplay. Just change your nickname. Eventually we'll have proper moderation and we'll be able to uh, kick out trolls and so on. Finally, I want to discuss about the in-game multiplayer 3D audio. Under the audio tab, you'll find your list of microphones. Just choose your microphone. If you want, you can enable voice detection, so the microphone turns off when you're not talking. You have a threshold you can adjust. Now, at the top right of the screen, you have a little microphone icon. By default, microphone is off. However, if you press F5, you could toggle voice on and off. If you have a D voice activation detection, that will automatically only turn that on when, when you're talking. But you do have to press F5 to enable the system. Otherwise, by default, it's off. What we have there is a virtual avatar. And right now, pretend he's talking. He's actually streaming music. So instead of using a real person, we're just using the avatar. And what you'll notice is that the sound is not only high quality, but it's fully 3D. As I get near the avatar, the volume will go up, and then we'll have a spatial stereo um, kind of um, volume. So you'll hear it either on my left channel or my right channel, or if you have a 7.1 system, it'll be fully 3D. So let me get near to it and let you listen to the effect. And as I walk away from him, you'll hear his volume degrade. And eventually, when he's inside of the sub, if he's in a compartment that is closed, where a bulkhead door is closed, his volume will be attenuated and filtered appropriately. So it'll be very hard to hear somebody on the other side of the metal door. Same thing with the external camera and the sub. If you're an external camera and you have a bunch of folks talking, you may miss what they're saying because it doesn't make sense that you can hear through the submarine. So these are some of the updates included in this release that is now live on niche.io. It's in the alpha branch. We still do not consider this stable. As you can see, we still have some texturing uh, we gotta work out and we wanna increase the quality a little bit more, but if you'd like to join and help us test please grab it and uh, join our discord to let us know what you think thanks for tuning in till next time